Well, because now you get like your Rocky it. II moment, right? Because exactly. now you get to Redemption. come back and win. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Adrian! <laughs> I mean, are you doing... Adrian! <laughs> So this is our theme song. Do you like it? I like it. Uh, we like to rap on it too. Do you rap? No. You got some verses? No. <laughs> Keep it going. Let, let everyone just feel it for a bit. No one can hear it. Everyone else is looking at us like we're crazy. <laughs> and you get that guitar coming in the back. I like it. Welcome everyone to another podcast of Mini Biking Ain't Easy. I am your host, Jason. Of course, I've got my main man, Zane, keeping us in the lane. Hello. And I got my man, Bernie, from California, running the cameras. And today we have a very special guest. I'm going to say this is our biggest guest we've had so far. Yeah. Introducing... Well, Paula, uh, certainly. A man who needs no introduction, Isaac from Cars and Cameras. What's happening, guys? I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> That's a real crowd. Every we got about a hundred people out here. Just no, don't turn around, Bernie. Turn, oh, Bernie. Okay. <laughs> you just killed the illusion. You just pe peeled back the curtain there. So what's up, cars and cameras? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are y'all doing? Good. Yeah. How is how is this paint shaping up for you so far? Well, I haven't even left the spot here yet. I've okay. Been, like running into fans, talking. How did they put? Put it, uh, shaking babies and, and, and kissing kissin hands. Yep, that's kissin definitely hands it. And shaking babies. That's definitely it. Yeah. <laughs> no babies were harmed in the making of this. So. so yeah, I hadn't been able to venture out and find anything cool. It looks like there's some stuff going by that people are buying. So yeah, there's a, some deals out here, I guess. What are you looking for this weekend? Mini bikes. Really? Any, like Hondas or just anything old or two wheels? Two wheels. Whatever will fit in the back of my suburban. Do you have a project in mind? Absolutely not. I'm just winging it. Okay. Yeah. That's very zen. I like that. <laughs> well, it's very uh, hoardy of me. I, <laughs> I like to buy them and keep them forever. Okay, so you don't then take them back to the shop and then have like a video of you restoring one? Well, sometimes that happens, but, you know, about a quarter of it gets just put away in the corner and forgotten. Okay. <laughs> so how many of these forgotten projects do you think you got? Well, there's probably a couple of dozen at least. <sighs> Well, that, you know what? They're not forgotten. You're just setting yourself up for a surprise later when you find them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eventually, we'll come across them and be like, where'd that come from? Yeah. It's happened a few times. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have you ever found something that you have no recollection of purchasing? Every once in a while, yes. Okay. <laughs> it happened the other day. I can't even remember what it was, but I'm like, where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> That doesn't happen to y'all? I don't buy like that. I know Tim Tim definitely does. He buys a bunch of mini bikes and just stores them wherever. I'm sure you're the same way. I kind of am. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I just wake up like in a haze surrounded by Amazon boxes. I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got there, but just surrounded by purchases. I'm not that bad. But uh, speaking of Isaac and mini bikes, how far back do both of y'all go? My parents wouldn't allow me to have any mini bikes or go-karts. So, look, look at you now. I know. Like when I was... 11 years old, I bought my first go-kart without telling the parents, and I brought it home, and I'm like, what are you going to do, make me sell it? You know, and that kind of, that's where the go-kart started from. Nice. I didn't get into mini bikes until Cars and Cameras, so that was like 2014, 2015. Okay. Then I got into the mini bikes. Okay. Yeah. So go-karts, now were they just off-road go-karts, or were they shifter carts or kind of racing carts or what you got manco two-seater nice it was a two-seater manco my neighbor had a five horsepower briggs on a tiller and he gave it to me i paid like 20 bucks for the go-kart and i was terrorizing the neighborhood in no time nice yeah did you race or do anything professional or is it just you having fun out just, in the neighborhood just me having fun out in the neighborhood nice getting in trouble okay. Run, running from the cops <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. Not running from the not cops. Running, abiding. I, what I meant was yeah. not. Rules. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't see them, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, tell me how you and John met. Was that through go-karting then? Absolutely not. Uh, John was like 16 years old, and he had his first car. And I was a mechanic at a shop, and 
he brought his car in for repair. And uh, him and his dad were doing a restoration on a 66 Chevy truck. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened I had eight of them, and they needed parts. Nice. And so that's where me and John first started hanging out because they needed parts. What's that age uh, gap between you and John? I think John's 27, and I'm 46. Okay. So oh, okay. pretty pretty big age gap. Yeah. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. But a good mentor. He Absolutely. found a definitely good a mentor. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys start hanging out because of the Chevy truck yep. or parts, and, and then uh, how does that blossom? Well, he uh, came over to my shop to check out my stuff, and I had a go-kart leaning up against the wall in the shop, and he was like, can we put that together? Because my parents won't let me have a go-kart. <laughs> and look at them now. <laughs> and that's exactly how it started. Okay, so how does bringing a camera on board, how does that start go- going from go-karts to filming y'all? Well, Cars and Cameras was not a go-kart channel originally. It was a car review channel. Okay. Oh. And, yeah, and he just so happened to make that first video, Nine Reasons to Buy a Go-Kart, something like that. I can't even remember. (laughs) And shot a video on that, and it just blew up. Yeah. And it went from there. Then we got to meet y'all guys not long after. Is that the same thing? And I'm trying to think back of my cars and cameras video watching days. When you guys first started, if it was a a $50 go-kart, was that? No, that was probably like further in. Okay. Yeah, we had a $50 go-kart. The first time we got in touch with y'all, y'all sent us a torque converter to John's race go-kart. Mm. And that was pretty early. I'm not sure exactly what year that was. That was probably 2016 or something. And, uh, okay, back to to the go-kart up against the wall. Yeah. John kept it over at his house, and he kept wrecking it and wearing the tires (laughs) out. And I got tired of replacing the tires and fixing things. So I went out, and I bought a $200 race go-kart, and I gave it to him. Dude, I was like, here you go, give, give me my go-kart back. <laughs> was that the Margay frame, or was it before that? I think it was the Margay frame. Okay. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but anyhow, he got the go-kart, and that was the first video that he did with Nine Reasons to Buy a Go-Kart. Okay. And then y'all provided him a torque converter not long after that for wow. the go-kart. Yeah. So how many how many actual car review videos did you do before going into go-kart? That was him. Oh, okay. I didn't know him before that. Okay. So, All right. I don't know, probably a dozen, I guess. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Got <laughs> conservatively. It, got yeah. his feet wet, so you guys start doing go-karts, and yep. then it starts taking off, and then yep. what happened? You guys look at each other and say, all right, let's do two videos a week for the next 10 years or whatever. Oh, I don't even know when that started. <laughs> I think that probably started after he graduated college, maybe. I don't even know. Just somehow took off at some point. kind of took off, and two videos a week it was. Okay. Yeah, you guys have been hard at it for the last five, six, seven years or so. And then now you guys, I see that he's trying to scale back and do one video a week. Yeah, I became a little unavailable for a while because of personal stuff. And two videos a week with me not around, it was a little harder. So yeah. kind of switched it up to one video a week. Yeah. And he can spend more time on the videos, and I think he can make them better. Yeah. So I think we're going to stick with the one video a week. We're okay. going to at least see how it goes for a while. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. You guys have any big projects on the docket that we should keep an eye out on? Oh. I don't know. We've been pretty hard at it for with the uh, racing lawnmower that we just built. Yeah, which is pretty sweet. We have a king midget that we're messing yeah. with. I don't know. If I've seen that. Seen that? I watched that one. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that that we've got to finish. We're going to do a road trip with it. What? Yeah. Okay, so it, so it can be street legal or it is street it legal. It is street legal. It's okay. licensed and insured right now. You don't think we drove it down the road okay. illegally, do you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, of course not. <laughs> yeah. It is licensed and insured. It is a manufactured automobile. Nice. Yeah, and we got some other things going. We got our sand rail that we're working on. What's a sand rail? It's like a drag racing long drag rail, but we're going to be putting uh, like paddle tires on it and racing it in the sand out at one of our events. Nice. That is sounds that gonna really be a, cool. Is that yeah. Busco Beach type That's of thing? That's Busco Beach. Is yes. that going to be here in May you're going to? Maybe. 
maybe right? if not maybe in November or it, whenever your yeah, next it, one is it kind of, it's, it's broken right now okay but you know we got the parts and we'll get it together pretty soon yeah and, I, uh, I mean it'll be fine yeah absolutely I'm trying to think we, we've got like five unfinished projects right now that we're messing around with I can't even keep track of them it's right so on this midget how far of a I guess road trip do you plan on making out of state no, no. Okay. And, oh, that was going to be like until the wheels fall off. Like. <laughs> or, <hope> yeah, <laughs> to L.A. or something? No, no. Coast we're coast? probably just going to go to the beach or something. Probably, oh. probably a four-hour, five-hour drive with it. And top speed would be? Uh, well, right now it does like 50 miles per hour. Oh, yeah. Nice. But we're doing an engine swap on it. We're hoping to get more than that out of it. Nice. Yeah. What's up, Charles? <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Charles is tripping on stuff behind the camera. Kicking the cameras yeah. all around. Yeah, that's some expensive equipment there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So you guys also did release your Stage 1.5 performance kit. Yeah, I, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm not sure whose idea that was. I guess it was John's or something. So, yeah, John said, I got a great idea. It's like, build it on a budget. Yep. And he said, you can get the Tilton engine, use this part, this part, and this part. He's like, I want to push it. What can we do? Like, man, that's a great idea. That can save people over 100 bucks just in what they need. And I see yeah. you guys put it on that Mega Moto 212. Yeah. And how, does it live up to the hype? I think it does really good. We did some running around with it, and there was a definite increase in power because we got to the point where I couldn't even ride it to its full potential because I found out that the foot pegs were digging into the dirt because I had to lean it over yeah. so far. And yeah, so, but it was still faster. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's a, it was a great idea. Yeah. Have you thought about putting taller tires on that on that? Yeah, bike? we talked about taller tires and also maybe doing something with the foot pegs. Yeah. Because I I will lean some stuff over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm curious, out of just mini bike racing, would you be the fastest out of the group? I'm a bit more comfortable on two wheels than other guys, but John, he's like always like right behind me. Yeah. Yeah. He's also about like 40 pounds lighter than me. Oh, okay. Because yeah. <laughs> when I'm watching y'all's time trials, I'm trying to be like, all right, who's got the fastest time? And I think it's usually you on the mini bikes, Usually right? on the mini bikes, yes. But John is always faster on the go kart Just because of the weight difference? That dude could drive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a weight difference thing, and he can also drive. Yeah. But you are also fearless because being at the GPS 180 and seeing you just full throttle up and down hills oh, that yeah. are rocky, you go, you definitely get after I'm it. I'm definitely more comfortable on, on two wheels, and I don't know. I just tend to go all out. Now, do you have a background in dirt bike racing or anything? Or you just, I know I just like to gun it. I didn't start riding mini bikes until like 2017, seven, seven, eight years ago. Okay. Yeah. So, wow. yeah. Were you okay. competitive at, 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 you know, growing up? I'm very competitive. Like, like sports competitive? Like competitive on everything. Everything. Like, everything. <laughs> builds yeah. i guess i like to win ain't nothing wrong with that i like to win he's more competitive than you that's <laughs> that is a-okay <laughs> even if i'm slower i'm still competitive yeah. okay there you yeah. go yeah i go all out now do you do any tillis and t4 racing against john i can't win just because but yeah i still go all out okay yeah but i don't win with the uh, t4 john is a beast when it comes to racing with cars nice. i just can't keep up with him he has a steady line mm -hmm. i don't i guess he, he might study it and stuff i don't i don't think i have a regular line i think every corner i'm in a different spot on the track okay so yeah. I, I don't do well okay yeah an intuitive driver Something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and how about Charles? Where does he place? Is he usually last and everything? I need your signature. Oh, oh here we go. Okay. <laughs> the Sorry, fans. Guys. No, Sorry. that's all right. Hey, Tom fan. appease the, the fans. This is yeah. the reason Drove why we're here. here. <laughs> all the way from Iowa. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Definitely one of our most popular guys. 18,000 steps. <laughs> That's what it's about. Uh -huh. okay. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. Give him a handshake. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, no handshake. Boy. Give him a handshake. handshake. Yeah. yeah. Nice shirt, too. I like the square body. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's, get, he's getting the... Uh, there we go. Charles is getting his Polaroid out. Oh, everyone's got a camera. <laughs> So for all my listeners out there, we have just a sea of people around trying to get to Ike. Yeah. yeah. Security, security, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is just mad out here. <laughs> yeah. 
I've done a lot of signatures so far. Okay. You're the yeah. man, though. That's the reason why we wanted you first up on the podcast. Look, guys, we wanted to bring everyone in. I wouldn't be where I was at without Go Power, Go Power Sports. Dude, you guys are too sweet. We, we wouldn't be where without we were at yeah. without you guys. It's like a team effort. Yeah. yeah. You and yeah. your one million subscribers, which is very, very impressive. Thank you. Do you have anything to say to these millions of, of subscribers? Thanks for watching. Sorry y'all aren't here. <laughs> there you oh, go. There you yeah. go. Maybe next year you can make it out to, to paint. Oh, I definitely recommend coming out. If y'all haven't been to paint swap me, y'all need to get out here next year because this place is awesome. What can people expect from a paint experience? A little bit of everything. They have like bikes out here, cars out here, furniture out here. Straw hats. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Pretty much anything that you want, they got out here. So, have you guys started on the Rascal Light mini bike? No, we haven't. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Do you know what a Rascal Light is? I do not. So, a Rascal Light is our Rascal mini bike, but we basically put all the economical pieces, yeah. parts yeah. on there. So, they're basically a bunch of the Coleman CT100U parts on okay. a Rascal frame, saving people half the price. Okay, how much? $497. $497, dollars shipped to you. Really? That's That comes with an engine, a 98cc engine, the Rascal frame, and all the goodies to get it up and did, running. Did we get one? You did get one. Did we get two? We can definitely get you two. Yeah. You know what's crazy is that we haven't even pushed it yet. We had a bunch online and... We, they sold out. They sold out. Well, good. We sold like 60 of them without really pushing This them. morning, we sold them. I had built one specifically for a video. For yeah. you to ride, For actually. you guys to ride, actually. And <laughs> someone saw it and was like, I want that one. And bought it. Bought it. We weren't yeah. even here for like 10 minutes. And Dang. then we had four others just like it that were unpainted. Gone. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we have another one coming out, though, later today or okay. tomorrow. Is that? Oh, yeah. We have another Rascal Light that we still want you to ride. We still, just yeah, we want to get your guys' opinions on it. Get your idea it. and be like, is this worth four ninety seven? That's what? where you go, oh, yeah, of course. What engine's on it? It's just the 98cc engine. Nice. A good starter engine, especially for, uh, like, kids and stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or Zane. They're perfect for me. Right. I, or, yeah, Mother's. Okay. <laughs> for Mother's Day? For Mother's Day? There you go. There we go. That's a perfect Mother's Day gift. Yeah. I think I went about 25 miles an hour on it without messing with it, without messing with the throttle adjuster or anything. Okay. So, yeah, great engine, definitely enough to pull you around. But more importantly, we are going to take a quick break. We're going to hear a few words from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. All right. There we go. Paul here at Go Power Sports. I'm going to show you how to install our new Juggernaut Stage 1 Tuner Kit. It's going to have the three bolts, nut, and the bushings. We've been testing this now for a couple of months from drag racing to circle track to just cruising around. This kit here is going to raise the stall up from its stock 2500 to approximately 3000. This is going to be the kit you're going to have to have. All right, guys, to do this, packing ribbon like this. Just a little bit of tension. Get you a little something that your bushing can fall through. Just take one of your rollers, put your bushing inside. Line it up, put the bolt in. You just get your nuts real slow. And like I said, you can do this by hand. You don't have to use the impact. Make sure when you line up your drum, you gotta line it up or you're gonna tear it up. Do this part by hand. We're done. See you next time for stage two. All right, and we're back. So, just curious, do you have a favorite Cars and Cameras episode or series that you want us to all watch? Well, I like the classic Rat Rod Wagon. Okay. You know, that was like that the was OG big build that we did. Which yeah. Compared to nowadays, that is not a big build. Is it still <laughs> running to this day? Yeah, it's still running to this day. We ride it around occasionally. I'll throw it in the trunk of my car, and I'll go to car shows, and I'll pull it out, <laughs> and just kind of put around and stuff. People love it. Yeah. You didn't bring it out here this, this year. Year. No, no. We built like a racing lawnmower. Yeah. Can we even call it a racing lawnmower? I don't. Are racing lawnmowers? Do they have to go to a certain spec? Because we didn't follow any specs. We just built it from scratch. I think it makes it a racing lawnmower, just like you guys said. As long as you put the hood on it and it yeah. looks like a lawnmower, it's a racing lawnmower. I, I think they got to start with the factory lawnmower like chassis. Okay. I think so, but. 
you know, the only thing lawnmower on this thing is the hood and the fenders. So what is the frame? It's like a 1964 MTD okay. lawnmower, riding lawnmower. Okay. Found it in the woods like two weeks ago, and we picked it wow. up for 20 bucks. Nice. Yeah, it has a seven horsepower Briggs & Stratton flathead on it. Okay. I didn't even know they had seven horsepower Briggs & Strattons. It was the first time I've ever seen one. It's was cool. the, the engine was still in functional condition? And... Uh, we actually got it running. Nice. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Good yeah. job. And then we promptly stole the hood and fenders off the mower. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look to be in great condition. Oh, yeah. It's got that Carolina patina. It definitely does. Yeah. It looks clean. It looks yeah. like a rat rod lawnmower for sure. Yeah, it's still, it's kind of got a like a green haze to it because it's got some veg- vegetation on it, too. Ooh, nice. We didn't even clean it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you touch it, you might want to wash your hands. You might have some of that <laughs> North Carolina poison ivy <laughs> oh, on man. it, you know, because it was literally underneath like a tobacco barn roof. Wow. In the woods. Yeah. Oh. So when you say you found it in the woods, were you like riding out there? And, uh, like... No, Charles just so happened to be driving by, and that dude's got some eagle eyes. Nice. And he told us about it. He talked to the owners. We went out there for it, and Charles pointed at the lawnmower in the woods. He was like, there's a mower. And I'm like, where? I didn't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, that dude's got some eagle eyes. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. You... It's a pretty cool mower. We put it together for this event. Took us a week. How did you attach the lawnmower hood to the frame? We used the factory bolting positions. Okay. Yeah, so we didn't drill any holes in the hood. It's exactly how we pulled it off. No harm in the original metal. Mm. And top speed, do you think you can get out of that? Uh, Probably around 50. We don't have it geared for speed. We have it geared so if you're inexperienced on clutches, Mm -hmm. you can probably hop on it and not stall it out when you can't function the clutch pedal good. Yeah. Are you the only person that has ridden it, or has everyone ridden it? John actually rode it this morning out at y'all's place. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we found nice. out it does really nice donuts in the parking lot. Oh, really? Oh, oh yes. Oh, dope. Well, yes. I saw you do it in out in the grass out of your property. It seemed like it was spinning tires pretty easily. I think it did it better in front of y'all's shop. Nice. So, yeah. If cool. y'all pay attention, y'all might see some little black marks. We'll so. definitely t- pay we'll, attention. Yeah. We'll go get some crime scene photos. Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have you sign it, too. <laughs> so it, it turned out way better than I thought it was going to turn out. Still need to do some tuning to it. Well, we, we never finished the exhaust. We just grabbed the carburetor off of something else, and it's kind of breaking up. Got you got it done in a week, though. In a week. And it's a motorcycle engine. It's a, like a 1980 Suzuki GS 450. I okay. Believe. So, like, ton of power. 30 something horsepower. Yeah. I think. And, and a six speed transmission. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fun project. Are you guys going to ride it around for the cruise? Oh, yeah. I'm going to hop on it and do some cruising with this thing. Okay, nice. Yeah. Does it give you PTSD being on a lawnmower? Since the last one I remember is the one that threw you off. Oh, no. I'm good on lawnmowers. Okay. Was that... (laughs) How was that lawnmower? Is that lawnmower still around? It's still around, but we kind of stole the engine off of it for our drag rail. Okay. So, But it's still around. So the drag rail, didn't that used to have a 670 on it? Yeah, it still has a 670 on it. Okay. Yeah, but then we added a turbo and nitromethanol fuel. And okay. Stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Nice to yeah, know. Really fast. Oh, looking forward to seeing <laughs> you guys hit your top speed on that. I think John at the drag strip, I think he did a seven something seconds and eighth mile at 93 miles per hour, I think. Okay. In the gotcha. eighth mile. Wow. Which is pretty fast yeah, that's for pretty fast. even a car. Yeah. And this is a lawnmower engine. Wow. Yeah. So if y'all hadn't seen that video, it's probably link. six months we'll, back. We'll link it right here. <laughs> yeah. So one of the iconic videos for me is you guys putting a Predator engine on a on a Mega Moto 80, or, mo, or was it a Motovox? I think it was a Motovox. Okay. I think that's one of the main videos I used to watch, and I saw you guys did it. Then I went and got myself, I guess it was a Mega Moto down at that point, and then I put a 212 on there just because of you guys. So you guys have had an influence on me. Nice. Before you guys <laughs> ever really came in contact with Go Power Sports, so that, that is pretty dope. That was a fun build. And I bought the bike brand new. It was still under warranty. Nice. And we just ripped the engine off and put a 212 on it. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very iconic. Then I also remember you guys doing the Cozy Coop. That was another fun build. What was the Cozy Coop? One of those little kid plastic push cars. Yeah. 
red one with the yellow top with the I, eyeballs and smiley face. I picture exactly the, yeah. And then we put a motorcycle Honda 550 motorcycle engine on the front. It got Richard Rawlings' uh, attention yeah, uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Got a picture I with him pay, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that was, a, that was another fun build. Yeah. Yeah. That one was great. I love it. it brings a smile to my face. Do you every still time take I that one out it. sometimes? Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. Do all these carts just stay at John's shop? Oh no, they they kind of float around between my place and John's place. Okay. So I've got a big old uh, shop that's like a I don't know fifty by seventy, and it's packed full of go karts and mini bikes. Do you plan on ever selling any of that stuff? We actually sold our very first project a few weeks ago. Which was? It was a like a KX80 dirt bike. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we did a, a video or two on it. It was just sitting around the shop, and John was like, I'm ready to get rid of it. So he sold. Like a Marketplace? Facebook or? Marketplace. And now does he say, was seen in Cars and Cameras videos or anything? I don't know if that helps out or not. No, we don't really advertise. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, we just put it up there on Facebook Marketplace, and someone messaged them and he uh, sold it. Nice. They Dude. didn't even know about us. Oh, really? Yeah. Even better. They do now. Yeah, now they do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think you'll end up doing that with even more of your past projects? Uh, I'm, I don't know. You I like, like, I like to hold on to them. Yeah. I hate to get rid of them because I love every single one of them. Is there one that's more dear to your heart than others? Rat Rod Wagon. That's the, yeah. that's the one that you that's will never... One, that's the one that started it all. You're going to hold on to that one forever? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't you guys also have some Honda Trail 70s? We do. I don't know. I've got like maybe a dozen of them. Are those treasures to you? Or would you sell those? I mean, if the price was right, they, I could sell some. Okay. Yeah. I should have brought some out. I heard that the cheapest one out here is like a thousand bucks and it doesn't run. Oh, I'm sure. I think we came across some that were over two grand. Yeah. Yeah. We, we saw some. We, we saw a 2014 Honda Grom. Yeah. That was going for, I think, 2000 2500 2500 Okay. And then there was like these Honda 70s that are like, maybe they run. Those yeah. are 28 3000 Well, that's crazy. I should have brought some. I paid 120 bucks a piece for mine. Whoa. Yeah, yeah you can definitely make a killing yeah, I out have here. sold a few of them. No, I won't. You can't talk me down. <laughs> $2,000. That's what I want. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Other than the small stuff, you got some, I guess, prize cars or trucks that you're holding on oh, to? Oh, I got a lot of junk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing that's uh, cream of the crop, though, for you? Uh, cream of the crop? I've got a... Like 1975 Chevy Nova. Mm -hmm. It's like the body style no one wants. Oh, okay. But it just rolled over 20,000 original miles on it nice. uh, a couple of weeks ago. Nice. Yeah. Only 20,000. Only 20,000 miles. Wait, That's what? Was Okay, was a little old lady driving it to church on Sundays? What's the deal? A little old man. Little old man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So uh, I bought it at auction and I was getting it ready for the, maybe it was the 2019 Power Tour or something. I can't remember which year, but I bought the car and got it ready for Power Tour. I went through everything, wheel bearing, changing all the fluids, anything I could think of that might give me problems on the Power Tour. And I noticed that there were a lot of things that looked like original equipment stuff, like special marks, special stickers and stuff. So I, I had the DMV man trace back the mileage on the car, because in North Carolina, when you get an inspection done, they write down the mileage. Okay. And he traced it all the way back, and it was indeed the original mileage on the car. Nice. Man. Whoa. Yeah. It had 17,000 miles on it when I bought it. It now has 20,000. Nice. So I drive it. Yeah. 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 That one's I, I think, is the cream of the crop. Okay. What was the first car you worked on? That would be my parents' 1981 Chevy Citation. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What kind of what kind you of car? I don't even know what a Chevy. Size I don't even is. know what. We're, we're going to go ahead and pull that picture up right here. Yeah. It was a two-door, five-speed manual transmission, and let me see. My sister was driving it, and she blew a head gasket on it. So I'm like 11 years old, and of course my mom was like, "Yeah, you can play with the car." Nice. And so me and my brother would work on it. I replaced the head gasket, did other kind of work to it. How old were you? Like 11. 11, okay. Yeah, and when, when I was 12 years old, I was driving it to and from middle school. How nuts is that, <laughs> man? 12 years old, fixing yeah. the car and then driving. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Good for you. No one said anything about it. Yeah. I mean. They're all amazed. <laughs> I, I never did anything illegal. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I was a minor, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Yes, I drove the crap out of it. <laughs> yeah. 
So how about these days? Are you driving that? I see you had a, have a Buell. Are you driving that like legitly or is that for a video? I will be driving it legitly when I head back to uh, North Carolina. Nice. Because I plan on putting it on the road and licensing it and insuring it and taking a little road trip with it. Maybe ride to and from work a few times. Nice. Because work is like three hours away. <laughs> Dang, why you work so far away? Because we kind of got run out of town. But three hours away? Well, you know, we weren't very popular with the officers around our area. Okay, we're talking about the cars and cameras compound? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they started giving us a hard time, and no one wanted to work with us because we did want to stay around town, so we had to move. Okay. And I've got several houses in my hometown, and, you know, it's always going to be my home, and so I go home every weekend, and, yeah. It's 181 miles. Yeah, that's a bit of a trek. Yeah. yeah. So is work an actual work, or is it cars and cameras? Is there another job involved? That no, I... no, it's cars and cameras. Okay. Cars, okay. cars and cameras I was lost. Is I was work. like, man, you got like two full nah, jobs right nah. now. Okay. Cars and you. cameras okay. is my job. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now I understand. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're good. You're not going to like a mechanic shop? No. Anyway. Okay. No. No. Now, entirely changing tack, uh -huh. what was the most difficult video you guys did? Like, what's the one that you think was the hardest one to put together? And then what's the most dangerous? The most dangerous. I'm going to say the most dangerous is the Ducati. Okay. Yeah, that one's you know, wicked it's fast. The Ducati yeah. uh, motorcycle engine on it. Did we bring it here? I, I just remember seeing a video, and I don't know if it said, like, 900-plus horsepower or something. <laughs> it's a 900 cc. It's a 900 cc engine. I don't know what the horsepower is, but that thing is wicked fast. I did a 107 miles per hour on it down the uh, local airport runway. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. It was it was crazy fast. What does that feel like? Does, t does like, time dilate around you? It's like or? you're darting around something It's that like small. a rocket ship. <laughs> you just hold and, on for dear life. Yeah. <laughs> and your vision gets all, like, blurry and oh stuff when you get going. It's crazy. Can you feel the G-force? Oh, yeah. It'll do a wheelie in, like, second gear. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. It's crazy. So that one's pretty fast, pretty dangerous. There are some other pretty fast and dangerous ones, too, but that one's kind of what's in my mind right now. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. That's like... That's the one that, if that's the one that popped in your head, that probably is the one. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised Go Power Sports didn't drop us after that. You know, like, no, oh, that's I, too dangerous. That No, I'm glad that you guys did it. <laughs> I'd rather watch y'all do it. Yeah, that one's one of my favorites. Pretty scary, though. Fun to drop. It's crazy. So what project would you, is your dream project? What would you like to really, like, if you could get your hand on any vehicle to work on? Go-kart-wise? Go Go-kart, mini bike, anything. Car, truck. Oh, well, car wise it'd be a 57 chevy bel air because i've always been a 57 chevy nice. bel air guy very cool which i got one in my garage i'm working on nice. so that, that's my oh, dream car dreams yeah. do come true you're halfway yeah, there do. yeah mini bike i don't know I've, I've got a soft spot for all the classics i love the bonanzas and stuff like that i'd love to have a really 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 clean original bonanza Okay. Nice. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, you might be at the right place to find it. I could be. Hey, is they're uh, out. They're out here. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? If it was me, I mean, I want to join the the Honda 50 Club. I see a nice blue one that's like back over here in a midnight blue that's like 2,500 bucks. Like a Z50? Yeah. Man, you should have said something. I would have brought you. All right. One. Okay. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> And it's also nice having like the Yoakum family because they all mess with those older Hondas to where they can at least find me parts or tell me, pull me in the right direction. So it's yeah. good having someone like that. I just haven't bit the bullet and just spent a couple thousand dollars on a mini bike yet. They're a real nice one to do it to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about around here, but are they? Can they be road legal around here? Oh. I don't know. There's a there's a bunch of stuff that we need to do with them around here. You have to I mean, like the lights. I brought my Z50. Yeah. And it's it's tagged and insured in oh, North nice. Carolina. We'd have to look into that. I'm not yeah. too sure. Yeah. I can. Yeah, we can dig around and find out. We're not recording at all. Now. Yeah. Till it's in stage one, two, twelve engines. Available in both pull and electric start. Over 11.5 horsepower out of the box. And comes with a performance air filter and the governor removed. With a 10,000 RPM light and flywheel, they deliver the torque and power that experienced riders crave. Available only at GoPower Sports and GoPowerSports.com.
All right, okay. so we just lost power, so we are back from our sponsors. And okay, everyone, quiet down, settle yep. down. No yep. one yep. just bum yep. rush us. I forgot <laughs> These what we're screaming fans out here. I guess yep. we can kind of change it up. So, what do you do outside of cars and cameras to help just keep you fresh? I go home. Okay. And uh, I, I play around with my own cars. I got another YouTube channel, and it's uh, Isaac It'll Be Fine, and I do car content on that. Oh, okay. Or car content and pretty much whatever I'm doing that weekend. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be car content. It could be, I don't know, cleaning up a house. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of work going on. So you are videoing, vlogging yourself? Yep. With a GoPro? Well, it's actually a Garmin. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of GoPro-like. And so. you you edit the photo footage all, to, all by yourself? Can't you tell? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you have a team of people or if you no. send stuff off no. or uh, you sit there at a computer. I don't know. Like a 20 to 30 minute video, I'll spend like three to four hours editing the video and I just put it out there. Okay. You know, some people want to know what I'm doing behind the scenes and yes. I kind of do that. And, you know, I, I can get paid doing it. And like my car project, I get my stuff running, which is cool. Yeah, it gives you a reason to work on all the stuff that's exactly. in the garage. Because otherwise, I'm going to be in front of the TV, getting fat, watching movies. Okay. So did Isaac, it'll be fine, start after Cars and Cameras? Definitely. Okay. Because <laughs> you're already over 100,000 subscribers. I don't know how. Well, I think that's amazing. I think it is, too. <laughs> I mean, just judging on the number of people who have already come up and just been like, hey, I just want to let you know I like your channel. Like, this is a pretty good sample size. If we're getting five, six people who've come yeah, up. Yeah, you've to, kissed 100 babies so yeah. far. You've shaken, shaken so many babies. babies. <laughs> kissed a bunch of... <laughs> I think they're talking about the Cars and Cameras channel, though. Yeah. Oh, no, that's yeah. probably true. But, yeah. I mean, that's the thing is, but you're a recognizable face. People yeah. like yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. And, it, no, and it's like, it, basically, your videos are, someone gets to hang out with you for the weekend, basically. Yeah. Yep. That's fun. Yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. Meeting the fans and just, I don't know, it's still kind of weird. Mm. I'm not used to it. Now, is this what you pictured your life looking like when you were a kid? Like, what was your dream when you were a kid? You were like, yeah, I'm going to do that thing. Dude, I'm 46 years old. Yeah. Still they no didn't clue. have internet <laughs> back then. You know, my first experience with a computer was in middle school, and it was the old Apple computer that was all one, the keyboard was part of it. Yeah. And it was so primitive. <laughs> we didn't have floppy disks. We had hard drive, the hard disks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. I had no idea that I would be in, I'm going to just say the entertainment business, because I don't know. I just had no idea. It just happened. Oh. Yeah. So then from there, you've been able to pick up a video camera and then editing. How How is that? Just transitioning to learn how to, how to do that all by yourself. I don't know. Did just, you watch other YouTube videos on how to edit or you just asked John? No, no I just did it myself. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, John did help with some things. Anytime I get in, stuck on something, I'm like, hey, buddy, can you please give me a hand? Yeah. And he'll kind of point me in the right direction, and I get things done. Now, is this a consistent one video a week on it, Isaac? It'll be fine. I've been really good about it. I've missed a few things with things been going on lately. But, yeah, one video a week, I've been pretty good on, on doing that. Do you have, like, a backlog of videos? No. Okay. Every video I, I let go, I, like, shoot it, like, a few days prior okay. to releasing it. So, so everything's pretty up to date. Everything's up to date, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I, nice. I, okay. I, there was a time... I I had a backlog of videos in, you know, two, three weeks worth, but I have not been able to have a backlog in probably a, a year. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Everything's just been like very recent. So your process, do you see what's around the house and just start videoing it? Or do you sit down and be like, all right, I'm going to script out this whole video. Oh, no. You oh, just no. kind of go with it? I just go with it. I like walk around and I'm like, you know what? I can work on that today. Yeah. And that's how it is. Or like a few weeks ago, my axle broke on my trailer and I had to fix my trailer. And I was like, well, I'm going to have to shoot a video on something. So it might as well be this. Nicely done. Yeah. Using okay. what you got. Yep. Exactly. What advice do you have as someone who didn't see yourself going into entertainment or anything like that? What advice do you have for people who are looking to get into YouTube doing something that they love? Get a real job. Whoa. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Everyone get out. I mean, look at it. Look, if there's that many more people coming to do YouTube, yeah. what's going to happen to my channel? I don't know. You've already have a foothold and you already have a, I got a foothold, recognizable but, you name. Know, there's going to be people, way better people than me. <laughs> people are going to forget about me. Don't forget about me. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> they, they like it for the familiarity and the, what you offer them. They, you're just a trusted name now. You can't get trust from someone who's just brand new out there. Yeah. Uh, they're going to keep watching you because they're used to uh, watching you. They've been doing this for years. Yeah. Any advice? The best advice I can give is get on the internet and whatever interests that you have like you really want to do do some research go online and look and see if they're doing many videos on that if they are switch to something else okay find something else and then keep looking until you find something that you enjoy that there's not a lot of videos on okay so find your little niche find your little niche and uh make you a video if it does well keep doing it if it doesn't do well like if you get like no views switch to something else okay yeah, that's my advice. Gotcha. Uh, I'm wondering, do you watch any other YouTube channels? That is anything you follow? I do not watch YouTube. I feel you. I'm on the right way. I'm on YouTube all the time, just putting stuff up there. I think I may watch like a Formula One kind of yeah. news recap. But other than that, I don't really. I mean, other than you guys, because I watch you guys. I've been watching you guys for years, so I don't have anyone else added onto there. I don't have time. Yeah. When we're done shooting videos at Cars and Cameras, we stop videoing at 6 o'clock. I go out to eat, and by the time I get back, it's about 8 o'clock. I can't do anything then, and I'm so tired, I usually go right to bed. Hmm. And uh, that that's all week, and on the weekends, I'm usually so busy mowing my lawns, fixing my cars... I just don't have time to watch YouTube. And if you weren't YouTubing, what would you, like if this was, this career is over, you want to go do, venture off into something else, what do you see yourself doing? I want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I want to do Disney World. Yeah. Have you been to Disney World? No. Okay. The only Disney place I've been to is in Florida. Okay. That, that's yeah. World. Okay. Is that World? Okay. okay. So, but you still want to go to Disneyland. Well, I just felt okay. like saying that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you had me going because I wanted to talk about Disney for a bit, but it's, it's all right. So what would you do? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Dream job. You can do whatever you want. Maybe I'd get me a girlfriend finally. <sighs> they get expensive. They. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you could have a girlfriend I, I, for I sure. Wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I don't have one. Yeah. Okay, well, th there you go, ladies. <laughs> Eligible bachelor number one. Yeah, right here. Right here. I like long week walks on the beach. Okay. You like <laughs> long... Uh, <laughs> What do you call it? You like beach rails? Like, I like <laughs> long drags rails. on the beach. I like racing on the beach with, with <laughs> race paddles. vehicles. Yeah. Would yeah. you, how about mechanic? I mean, mechanic, that seems to be the most. I'm done with mechanic. And okay. Because you'd rather just work on your own stuff? I'd rather work on my own stuff. I was a professional mechanic for 22 years, mm -hmm. and I don't know, I got pretty burnt out on it. I wouldn't work on my own stuff. And uh, when I got away from there and started doing the YouTube, it kind of can became enjoyable again, working on my, on my own stuff. And I don't think I'd go back to being a mechanic. So you don't cons consume YouTube. Do you Netflix or HBO or Prime anything? Oh, I'll throw some Netflix on. Okay. All right. What are you watching? I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. Are you serious? Yeah. They do the same thing every season to a different <laughs> setting. <laughs> I was up, I think I was maybe six or seven seasons in, and I was like, you know what? I, I'm not going to invest another season of them messing with me again. What happened? How did it all begin? What do you mean, how did it all begin? Yeah, exactly. Oh, how God. did it all begin? <laughs> how did everyone turn in, 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 into zombies? Because they died. What killed them? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. People? Zombie virus. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So stay tuned for our Walking Dead podcast. Yeah, next. we're going to have our walk Walking Dead, though? Oh, I mean, yeah. I got a buddy of mine that's uh, extra on the set. I heard oh, that. Oh, nice. Okay. I, yeah. I heard that Rick died and magically came back somehow. Okay, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> I am not. I am not on that season yet. <laughs> Netflix only has up till yeah. Yeah. Did he come back? I'm, I'm sorry. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that was old news. And then, then, I thought he then died Isaac a while stormed ago. Stormed out of the interview. He said he didn't want to look at Jason ever again. Maybe he doesn't come back. Oh, goodness. but I think Siobhan does find him somewhere. <laughs> Siobhan is that is that his, that his is wife? Not, no. What, what what's it, what's the lady's? Oh, M Michonne. There we go. There we go. Siobhan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Anything uh, else you watch? Oh, Outer Banks. I tried. I think I couldn't wrap my head you know, around it's, that it's, hole. It's funny since I actually own a piece of property at the Outer Banks. Okay. It is nothing like the show. Is it really? Wow. It's really no, not no. nothing <laughs> not like the all. show. Like... No, no. But it's funny. Okay. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a top movie that you recommend that's your all-time Ike movie? I've got a couple. 
All right. It kind of shows my age. I like it. So car related, The Wraith. Never heard of it. Ooh. Ah, you ought to check it out. W R The Wraith. W R A I T H. Okay, yeah. Wraith. All right, looking it up. Yes. Is it check a 1920s it movie? No, okay. no, no, it's 80s. Okay. The other one is, I think it was made the year I was born. Oh gosh, it just left my mind. Smokey and the Bandit. No, no. Oh gosh, give me a minute. Citizen Kane. That's oh, I- <laughs> Citizen Kane. <laughs> no way. That's you like... know about Citizen Kane? I was just trying to think of older movies. Uh, oh, my God. Citi- <laughs> Citizen Kane is great, though. Let's not... I don't yeah. want to besmirch Are you a Citizen it. Kane fan? I really liked it. The first time I saw it, I really enjoyed it. Because okay. my dad, I was sick from school, and uh-huh. my dad went to the video store and rented it for me. Okay. And, you know, 11, 12 years old. I loved it, man. I was like, this is really well done. Good. No clue. That's awesome. Oh, you haven't watched it yet? No. Oh, you're too oh. busy watching Zoolander, that's why. <laughs> it was actually Friends. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great show. What, oh, yeah. Friends? Yeah. Okay, so I'm like eight seasons deep. I just picked it up. I hated it the first two seasons. Okay. Then they started rolling, and the jokes were even funnier and funnier, and I was like, guys, this is the best show ever. I watched it from the beginning, like, when it was like, <laughs> every episode out. is, like, new. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Nice, man. Yeah, it was a great show. I think we binge about two or three episodes a night before before bedtime. Nice. So uh, the last thing we have is a segment called Questions from a Hat. Interesting. Yes. So I've randomly selected several questions from a list. Okay. And I'm going to ask you three of them. Gandhi. Gandhi. Okay, off the top. Who would you kiss? Okay, all right. No! Yeah, <laughs> Kiss his hand. <laughs> yeah. uh, shake his baby. Kiss his tongue, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my okay. God. Okay, Don't okay, include okay, that. Okay. Don't include that. Yeah. Okay, so the first question is, what's the weirdest or most vivid dream you've ever had? I can't. No, I can't. That's are the same question. Are you, are you a vivid dreamer? Uh, yeah, I can be. Oh, okay. okay. I can't talk about it. Okay. okay, that, okay. I, I can't talk about can it. Can you give us three nouns from it? Gandhi, Wet. number one. <laughs> He's like going, you've gone. I don't think I can talk about it. Okay, then we can't talk about it. Okay, got you. Hit him with number two. Is it a tough one? Is that like. Oh, look at you. You're still crying. No, I I just. Okay, I got you, man. Yeah. I can't. can't Move on. Moving on. (laughs) Jason's like, yeah. Okay, next one. If there are aliens, Uh what do you think they look like? Mm. Little green men with uh, big eyeballs. Okay, so you think like classic, the classic, classic alien. alien. Yeah. Okay, take me to your later. Okay, right. yeah. not like the weird tentacle monsters from what's that one? Con- Independence Day. No, not Independence Day. What's that? No, mm. not Contact. What's the one with the language? Abandon or no? Mars sign. Attacks. Arrival. Mars Attacks. <laughs> I would say that's probably Tom Jones's best movie. I think no top five, definitely. Okay, nice. Okay, next question. What's your happy place? My garage. Okay. Yeah. That's, oh, that's an easy one. That is my happy place. That's where I go. Nice. And I'm happy as a clam. Okay. If you could have any vehicle from any movie... What would it be? Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's gotta be Ghostbusters. The, the 1959 oh, Cadillac Hearse. Yeah. The Ecto-1. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Yeah. I like that. So why is that the one? I want it. The tail fins. Oh. Yeah. I love tail fins. I was so into Ghostbusters uh, as a four-year-old kid. It was definitely not age appropriate. Oh, oh no, Miss Shelley just destroyed everything. Whoops. All the mini bikes. So for all of our listeners, the mini uh, bikes just scratch, dominoed d- all the way down. Scratch and dent sale. <laughs> yeah. It's been real. It's been yeah. fun. I have a question, though. Yeah. I already know the answer just from your other answers. Uh-huh. How would you feel about going 100 miles an hour on a mini bike quarter mile? 100. You know, I hope that I was wearing some brown pants. Okay. And have a brown seat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gosh. But yeah. you would hold down. I bet if we said. Oh, I'd do it. Yeah. If you if we said you had to hit 100 by a quarter mile, I uh-huh. know that you would go full out. Oh, I would. 100 okay. miles and a quarter mile is not a problem. Is there a mini bike out here that you would attempt that with? I do it just start with frame wise. Would you do it on that little rascal? I'd do it on the big rascal. On the big rascal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would All you right. do it on the drag skull, the drag rascal frame that they've been cooking up? I have not tiny? seen that. Okay. Ooh, we'll, we'll, we'll go show take a look at that after. after this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Can't wait. Do you have any advice for going at super high speeds for someone like Jason who wants to hit a hundy? Hit a hundo. Okay. It's not how fast you go that's the issue. It's how fast you stop. 
Okay. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Yeah. So, so the faster you stop, the better, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, to an extent. <laughs> yeah. No, for the Grim Reaper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. But now, make sure you wear your uh, safety equipment. Okay. And brown uh, pants. Yeah. Some good safe equipment helmet gloves all that stuff and uh make sure you're in a flat area that has no trees or posts or anything okay because you know tumbling you're probably going to break some bones and be okay but it's that immediate stop that gets you yeah it's one of my fears that the front wheel will just fall out and then i just go sliding on the concrete for sliding's not an issue okay all right you slide know. on the concrete especially if you have the right equipment yeah full face helmet yeah the helmet's going to protect you if you got your gear on the gear is going to protect you just kind of i don't know ride it out and shake it off yeah. okay once we're getting closer to it we'll get in touch with you guys because we'd love for you to come out come hang out while we're trying to go 100 miles per hour on this bike where are you going to be doing this hopefully a yellow belly drag strip that's maybe an hour away from us my dad used to go there okay. drag racing really yeah yeah what yeah oh my gosh yeah wait was your dad a drag racer he had a 67 gto that he used to uh nice. mess around with yes. okay yeah whoa uh, not a professional drag racer or anything but no just, that's just for fun he was stationed here while he was in the military was he air force no no he no. was army okay gotcha yeah what did he do he worked in the motor pool oh okay so nice mechanic very cool so, man yeah he uh retired as a uh staff sergeant okay something like that yeah gotcha i'm not exactly sure i hate to say the wrong thing no 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 you're you e5 or i don't know e5 e6 something like that something like that yeah sounds good speaking of getting hurt what has been your worst accident so far i feel like i can see one in my head that was the hondukey the hondukey yeah tell me what happened there well uh we actually like shot the video we were done with the video but john wanted a good thumbnail to (laughs) put it (laughs) yeah to put on you know for people to see and he's like i need you to go out one more time and i'm like can't you pull a shot? And he was like, no, I got I got to get a good shot. Went out for that last shot and lost control of it. And, oh, man. Yeah. And it uh, dumped me. I tore all the tendons in my shoulder. Oh. And I had to have surgery, and, and uh, it was a long recovery, and, and I still hadn't fully recovered. Probably never will. That's a killer thumbnail, though. It was. <laughs> to it be was. honest, there, there have been a few thumbnails where I see you doing like a wheelie or something. I'll watch the video and be like, where do they pull that shot from? Yeah. But now uh, I we, see what's going on. We'll go back out, and we'll do a, th- a nice thumbnail. Nice. I yeah. like it. Cool, man. Well, I'm glad you're good. I'm glad that, I mean. I'm glad I'm still here. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. You know? When you live your life a quarter mile of a time the way you do. <laughs> I live life a quarter yard at a time. <laughs> wow. It's pretty dang fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So I had to thank you so much for coming out. I know right. you got a bunch of shopping to do out here at Pay. Yeah. We're going to see you full star picnic in May. Yeah. What are the rules with that? You bring something beautiful, put your name down so we can put a slot for you and get you your shirt. Is it something that we can just bring or do we have to get it here at Pay? Okay. So you could get something from Pay and then be eligible to win the Pay prize. Okay. There's the paint pick, which is, pick. can you turn it around in three weeks or whatever it is? Like, turn it around, like, sell it? No, just to have show quality. It's something okay. that you bought from here and you want to show it off Boy, at Polestar. I better get started. Yeah. But if you don't have that, you can bring any of the yeah. other six classes. Micro, drag, off-road, okay. vintage. Those can you can just pull up and show up and bring. All right. Yeah, like, uh, Rick, uh, I know Rick and Brandy, they're bringing, like, what, ten bikes apiece? Ten bikes apiece, wow. yeah. I might as well not even come. I thought you guys Aww. were flying. <laughs> I, I, I Have you, you seen his stuff? Yeah, his stuff is nice. His but stuff not, is good. He, can't, he can't win every prize, though, can he? But yeah, you could can. you could push something on social media and be like, everyone, I need y'all to come vote for me on May 20th. And there, you can just cook the books that way. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a popularity contest. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> But yeah, so May 20th, bring whatever bike you want. It gets judged by everyone that's there. Okay. And then we'll also see you third annual Go Power Sports 180 mini bike race in November. Am I going to win? You you always have the best shot to win. Everyone okay. expects you to win, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, this last year, I, I feel like if our bike kept together, I think we would have finished in top third. Yeah, easily. You guys no. were flying. Yeah. When we were talking to the, to the two guys, you know, the groups that won, yeah. they were like, oh, yeah, no, I mean, those are the guys 
guys to beat. Like yeah. cars and cameras, they're yeah. the fastest. They're fast. Yeah. We put that bike together like the day before the event. Yeah. So it was a very untested bike. And I feel like if we had done some testing, it would have turned out better. But, you know, it's it was still fun. Yeah. And, and we can't win every event. You it wouldn't could. be fun anymore. You're yeah. very competitive, though. You I'm have to win every Well, because now you get like, your Rocky two moment, right? Because exactly. now you get to Redemption. come back and win. Oh, yeah. Very <laughs> nice. Adrian! <laughs> I mean, are you doing? Hey, <laughs> are you going to do something differently to this year's bike? Or nah, nah, we're going to bring back the tested one, man. Okay, we beat the snot out of it, and it stayed yeah. together pretty good. Other than you know that mishap with the uh, belt. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. We'll just maybe change the belt out prematurely, you know, like halfway through the race. Yeah. And uh, that was the biggest thing. That was pretty much the only thing that we had a problem with. Okay. Well, so we'll see you Go Power Sports 180, yeah. third annual, November 11th nice. at the Go Power Sports Ranch. Yep. And then I think we're going to try to make it out to Busco Beach a few times this year to hang out with you all. Sweet. So yeah. it should be a good time, good year. We're definitely looking forward to it. Thank you so much for coming out today. Thank you. Do you have anything you've got coming up that you want to push? No. No? Just check out Isaac. It'll be fine on YouTube and yep. Cars and Cameras. And cars and Cameras. All right. So thank you, guys. So remember, if you have any questions that you want to ask the next podcaster, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and as always, ride on.